The Complete Streets Act, the comprehensive general blueprint for planning the streets of the future, became California law in 2008. To receive a one Bay Area grant to help pay for those improvements, cities and counties must have a complete street resolution or update their general plan by January 31, 2013. MTC has been holding workshops throughout the entire Bay Area to help counties and cities plan how they all conform to the new legal requirements. The best way to begin is to describe what is a complete street. And so complete streets are safe, comfortable, convenient for travel for everybody regardless of age or ability. So we're talking about uh, motorists, uh, we're talking about pedestrians, bicyclists, uh, public transit users, uh, commercial vehicles, freight, um, really the, the, the whole variety of users of the roadway network. And of course it's very context uh, dependent. Context dependent means something that is appropriate for each individual city. In San Jose that might mean light rail down the middle of the street or shared car bicycle lanes in San Francisco. Cities decide. David Parisi is going to show us some examples from less urban and even rural complete street projects. He's a consultant to MTC. Well, I'm a civil engineer. I started out you know, designing roads and highways and freeways and interchanges. You know, my real passion has been develop, designing complete streets, main streets, uh, livable streets. His first example, this small town frontage road next to a major arterial street. Drivers have been speeding on the street. This block was one-way driving, but it was so wide, drivers frequently drove the wrong direction. When it needed repaving, the city made it a complete street project with input from the businesses, shoppers, and bicyclists. So besides the repaving, the uh, town also reduced the width of the traffic lanes to um, help reduce traffic speeds. At the same time, installed these green-backed shared lane use arrows, which really emphasizes the street as a bicycling street without reducing the traffic carrying capacity at all. And an innovative feature that the town installed was this backing angle parking. Backing angle parking improved safety for uh, many users. But you can see the backing angle parking. If somebody was to back out, they can't see us coming. See all these SUVs? Yeah, they would never see them. They would never see us. They'd have to really edge out and be very careful. I think they did a great job. I think it's really good. Uh, my own Ross Valley CrossFit here, and every day I would see people driving the wrong way, and I was really afraid there'd be a major accident. So the, I think the design makes it a lot clearer for make sure cars aren't going the wrong way. Yeah, so the other main thing that I really thought was great is that it added like seven, I think seven or eight spots to the street right here. And parking's a little bit tight now that the businesses are flourishing on the street, so the additional parking helps a lot. My customers are a lot more satisfied. The next example is a semi-rural environment where neighbors didn't want a sidewalk, but they would consider a paved walkway to replace a gravel path. But just off the street, separated, is a pedestrian walkway, which was uh, designed to really be integrated into the community. It looks like a, a dirt path, but it actually is a hard surface. It's easy to maintain. Uh, it's comfortable. It meets all uh, disability requirements for driveway crossings and intersection crossings. And it's quite popular for all age groups. Residents like 91-year-old Millie Gilbert. It's very natural looking. I liked it because there were so many big rocks before we old, old people were stumbling. You use it every day? Uh-huh, every day. You walk it every morning? Every morning. This was a traditional street in the city of Larkspur. No street lighting, poor drainage, inadequate sidewalks for three neighborhood schools so kids would actually walk in the road. No bike lanes. When Larkspur decided to repave the street, it made it a complete streets project. Two wide bike lanes were installed. A brand new sidewalk was built on the west side and with a multi-use 14-foot wide pathway on the east side. Street lights popped up. New bus pads were built for the numerous buses that serve those three schools. It changed the character of the neighborhood and made it much more livable. I'm very much proud of it. Hamid Shamaspour is the public works director. We met the intent of the law. The law was to build a nice, safe pathway, encourage people to get out of their cars and walk and bike. Really, it's a new lifestyle that we would like to encourage. So, so a year ago, did you have this kind of foot traffic? No, nothing like today. The next Complete Streets project took a while to convince people. Here we have a uh, two-lane road that up until 
just a few months ago had no sidewalks, had high travel speeds. We're in a uh, suburban setting and the county working with the community uh, designed a roadway that has uh, a sidewalk on, on one, one side of it. It's uh, five feet wide and has narrowed the traffic lanes to reduce uh, travel speeds. Designated parking against the uh, uh, sidewalk side to create a buffer area. And it's, uh, it was funded through a Safe Routes to School grant, uh, about $1.1 million, um, which was recently constructed. So the street's been traffic calmed with some striping and some narrower lanes. And now we have a continuous sidewalk that not only is used by kids walking to and from school, but is also very popular already with the neighbors, many of whom actually um, opposed the project uh, at the start. But I think it's an improvement. I mean, it's uh, the parking for this school has been an issue in the neighborhood for a while, I know. But no, I, I mean, aesthetically, it's good. And Here's another before Complete Streets example from Lancaster, California, where people were speeding on this four lane road. When Lancaster made it a Complete Streets project by investing $10.4 million to make the street accessible to everyone, accidents were reduced by two thirds. Private, not tax money, that invested $125 million. 40 new businesses opened, bringing 800 new jobs. Sales tax revenues jumped 26%. In San Francisco on Valencia Street, similar Complete Street improvements like widening sidewalks, making the street a major bicycle zone, and installing smart meters have already attracted 16 new restaurants since the spring of 2011. The complete streets concept doesn't have to be expensive either. Cities like Venetia have new street signs that give better clues that pedestrians have the right of way. Cities can install high visibility crosswalks, add benches, parklets, improve shoulders, better signs for directions and traffic, flashing beacons, all of which can be part of complete street projects. To learn more about complete streets, watch for the MTC workshops on the MTC webpage. I'm Mark Jones reporting.